What's up everyone, Sean Count Blagerth here today with part two of my CD collection. Uh, before I begin, there's something that I forgot to mention in the last video. And that would be, I don't want to get too many comments of, where's this album? Why don't you have this? How come you don't have this particular album from this particular band? Uh, there's two reasons. Actually, three. I don't have it because I don't like it. I haven't got around to buying it, and I like it. Or I just uh, have it on a different format and you haven't seen it yet. So please, before those comments come in, stop. <laughs> and also, uh, what do you think of new background? Yeah, that slot's empty because this is part two. What do you think of the new Wall of War? Personally, I think it looks pretty sweet, but that's just me. Alright, moving on, finishing up the letter A, then we're going to begin B. We're going to start things off with American black metal band from Syracuse, New York, Arthurian Shield. This is the debut demo. Very, very cool, um, Argoslint-esque black metal. If uh, you dig Argoslint, definitely check them out, but they don't have the NS themes. Uh, then my favorite one, uh, The Age of Avalon. This is a fantastic album. Uh, you can listen to both of these here on YouTube. Just uh, type up in the search Arthurian Shield. Check it out. Very cool stuff. And then we have some Swedish black metal with Arcanum, Fram Martyr. This is the Demember Morty Digibook reissue. The original artwork and... All that cool stuff, and you got the CD back here, which is actually just like all the Demember More Tea releases, a black CD. Very nice. Uh, French black metal band, uh, bass only black metal band, Erasfix, with whatever the hell that says, put out by uh, Hell's Headbangers. Just absolutely fantastic. Uh, Black metal that's tinges on war metal, bit of a Behera influence here and there, but uh, still really cool stuff. And yes, this is my new mug. Morbid Tales, very cool. And I'm drinking uh, black coffee. Do yeah, insert black metal, black coffee. <laughs> Your original. Um, this is as Eden Burns with the Great Celestial Delusion. Very cool um, uh, melodic death metal, I believe, from Texas. Uh, I got this in a Willow Tip CD grab bag, and I dig it quite a bit. It's not my favorite, but it's not bad. Then we have uh, Asphyx with Death Hammer. This is my favorite era of Death Hammer. It's the newer uh, Death Hammer of uh, Asphyx. I much prefer the Doomier side of them as opposed to the old school death metal side. But that's just me. Then we have Atheist with Jupiter. Got this in a season mist grab bag. Not a huge fan of it, but it's not bad. Um, just not really a big fan of old school tech death, tech death or uh, like fusion sort of stuff. Then we have Or Noir with uh, Out to Die. This is a great album. I need to pick up more from them. Just some really sick black and thrash. Definitely dig them a lot. My favorite death metal album of all time, Autopsy Severed Survival. This is the 20th anniversary two disc edition. And the booklet, for people ask, yes, the booklet has the original artwork which I don't really care for to be honest I much prefer the censored artwork I just feel like it's a bit grittier but that's an amazing album and this one is just as good in my opinion Mental Funeral I just slightly prefer Severed Survival but this album is gnarly dirty dingy disgusting vile death Doom sort of stuff. It's so good. This is the slip sleeve reissue with the uh, bonus DVD. 
of two live sets, which is pretty cool. And I got these CDs from Luke Hammerhart years ago. This is uh, Avatars with um, the politics of global mind control and the elimination of the free thinkers. Uh, this is a demo of a, I believe they're from Vancouver, or at least from BC. Um, not a big fan of this one. This one's all right. It gets better though with uh, Saga of the Nationalists. Definitely dig this one more. Still not the greatest, but it's still pretty damn cool. I love the DIY CD. And my favorite one from Avatars. This is actually uh, Politics of Nordic Terror Live Rehearsals 2003. Um, it, I much prefer this. It's a damn good um, collection of live rehearsals. Extremely raw, brutal sort of black metal. Uh, you got number 17 of 50, hand numbered CDR. That's a lot of DIY stuff like that. I don't know what it is. Moving on to the letter B. We have Bearing Teeth with the album Atrophy, some sick technical death metal in vein of uh, Geigen. So if you like uh, Geigen or The Likes, definitely give that a listen. Then we have here, this is the only Bathory CD I have. I have other ones on vinyl. Uh, this is Bloodfire Death. Not my favorite Bathory album by any means, probably one of my least favorite in the out of the first like few records. I don't care for this one as much. And this is just an awful CD pressing. I got this at FYE used and like come on, just look at that disc. There's no booklet. It's just a sheet of paper with nothing on the other side. Like awful pressing manufactured by Craze and distributed by Maze. <laughs> Whatever. Then we have Battle Lore Where the Shadows Lie. I enjoy this album from time to time. Got this for Christmas years and years ago. Um, I dig it. It's not my favorite, but um, I haven't listened to it in years, but Journey to Undying Lands is always my favorite. I think the keyboards in that song are really cool. Moving on to Behemoth, we have Demigod. Uh, one of my favorites of their late era. Much prefer their early stuff. And speaking of their early stuff, we have uh, Demonica. This is the two-disc um, compilation of their demos uh, from the Pagan Vastlands and uh, Return of the Northern Moon. Has two booklets. Very nice package. If you want to get into early Behemoth, this is a great place to start. And the reason why I have it this late on into the, excuse me, the collection is this reissue didn't come out until, I think, after Demigod. So, then we have The Apostasy. I love this album. Not, not my favorite from them, but I still really enjoy it. Uh, I remember seeing this in Walmart, oddly enough, way back in the day. And I never bought it just because the album scared the hell out of me, especially like my parents seeing it back then. <laughs> but anyways, then we have Behemoth Evangelion, uh, two disc digipack uh, with a bonus DVD. Cool stuff. We have some great Deathcore, Belie My Burial with, uh, I just think this is called Belie My Burial. I think it's self-titled. But very cool EP. Check them out. Played a show with them many, many years ago back in the day. Uh, now we're moving on to Belphegor. This is my favorite Belphegor album. This is Lucifer Incestrous. Really cool stuff. I love the, that album. Uh, this one, I'm iffy on. This is Goat Right Flesh Cult. It's a solid Belphegor release, but it's nothing to really uh, write home about. Nothing that's that stellar. I mean... I feel like Belphegor is an overrated band anyway, but I mean, Goat Reich, Flesh Cult especially in my opinion, has just nothing special to it. I much prefer uh, almost any other album over that. That's probably one of my least favorites from them, to be completely honest with you guys. Um, I don't know. I'm just not that big on it. And before people ask, General Snooze. Um... Moving on, this is 
Belphegor with Pest Apocalypse 5, that, or 6, Pest Apocalypse 6, excuse me. This is my second favorite album from Belphegor. Uh, this is some gnarly, gnarly stuff. If you like black and death metal or want to get into black and death metal, this is a really good place to start. Um, never was big on for a long time, but I'm I enjoy them now. And I picked all these up this year. Uh, then we have uh, Bondage Goat Zombie, which is a... Uh, it's the album that made them click with me, but in the grand scheme of things, it's kind of mediocre. Uh, it comes with a bonus DVD. Uh, but yeah, it's an okay album, just nothing that special. But if you want to get into them, that's a good place to start. And then we have the last album I have from them. This is uh, Belphegor with uh, Walpugris Walpu writes Hexenwan. I think that's how you say it. And this actually is the original album cover. It's just censored by this weird sheet of paper. But it's whatever. It's a pretty good album. I think I like Bondage Goat Zombie better, but anyways, moving on to some Icelandic death metal with Beneath. Love this album. This is uh, Enslaved, uh, Enslavement, Enslaved by Fear, excuse me. Great, great album. This was a promo from Unique Leader. I did review it back in the day. Definitely check it out. Um, sum it up, damn good death metal, but the drums are obnoxious. Then we have some metalcore with Beneath the Sky with Demons Due to Saints. This is something that I really used to love back in the day. Don't dig it that much now. But uh, I was a huge fan of these guys back then and I dropped the CD. Anyways, yeah. Um, let's see how it goes. Yeah. I don't know. It's it's okay. No, I mean if you want to check a song out from it, seven eight six one. That's the song got me into them. Or Goodfellas. Then we have Bilskner with Wotan Rendivorous. I think is how you say it. It's the latest album from Bilskner, and I love this album so much. Great folky sort of uh, German black metal. Not. Folky in terms of like we got flutes and we dance and sing and drink beer and har 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 like Corpicani. It's more like um traditional folk sort of uh rhythmics uh rhythms, excuse me, with like the rhythmic picking is very inspired by traditional folk music. There's a lot of uh acoustic sort of elements strewn about through the album, but this is some very good stuff. Definitely check that out. Uh, I was listening to this a lot the last few days, actually. Um, Black Crown Initiate with uh, the wreckage, the wreckage of stars. This is a fantastic album. If you like Opeth and you want to hear a more extreme modern Opeth, this right here is for you. Utterly amazing. Uh, check out the song uh, "A Great Mistake" or uh, "Withering Waves." Those songs are just Fantastic stuff. Then we have Black Sabbath, Greatest Hits, 1970 through 78. Um, it's a Greatest Hits, all good stuff. This was given to me by someone who's dead to me, uh, my cousin. So uh, she ends up seeing this video. Thanks for the CD, but but yeah, I have a lot of that stuff on vinyl anyway, so it's whatever. But back when I didn't have vinyl, that was awesome to have. Then we have Black Sabbath 13. Bought this for like seven or eight dollars at Walmart. Awesome album. I actually have to fight with my dad on who gets to borrow this. Because, uh, yeah, he likes this album a lot. Um, but pretty good stuff. Favorite song off it is probably Live Forever. Then uh, some Black Witchery with uh, Inferno of Sacred Destruction. This is some nasty war metal. If you want to get into it, this would probably be the most accessible of war metal, because it's definitely much more in, on the black metal side of things than, like, Revenge or Conquer or um, Diafago, per se, because uh, they're, 
they have so much black and death in their sound that they become grind almost it's a really weird thing to say whereas these guys are pretty much pure black metal but they have the intensity of a death metal band but great stuff this is the one with the bonus dvd of them live in uh, helsinki back in 2009 very cool stuff you can get this from hell's headbangers i believe that's where i got this from for some reason, I can't remember exactly. I, actually, no, I think I got this through Forever Plagued Records. But, yeah, you can get it through Hell's Headbangers. I believe it's a HHR release. Yeah. Anyways, then we have Blasphemous, Death Upon the Scales. Very eerie, mysterious, uh, American black metal mixed with ambient. Very cool stuff. Then we have... They're split, uh, Blasphemy with Dark Metamorphosis. This is, uh, Graves of the Damned. This is a very good EP, uh, Dark Metamorphosis. is essentially the... It sounds a lot like Blasphemy, but I think, uh, Blasphemy is a bit more straightforward, whereas Dark Metamorphosis is a bit all over the place and experimental, but still really cool stuff. We're getting down to the final stack here. I got five CDs to show you left. This is a weird one to go to show, but uh, Blackstone Cherry. I actually love uh, this album and uh, the next one I'm going to show. This album is absolutely awesome. I bought this uh, New Year's Eve of like whenever this came out, and I fell in love with it. It's just damn good rock. It has like a classic rock sort of vibe to it, very southern, bluesy as hell, catchy as hell, but it has a tinge of metal to it, and I dig it. Uh, just really good songwriting. I mean, check out the songs, uh, Shooting Star, um, When the Weight Comes Down, Crosstown Woman, uh, Backwoods Gold, Rain Wizard. Just an overall solid album from these guys. Um, I'm not big on a lot of their other stuff, but this was kind of like when they started to go on a slump and this is the only other one I have. I do want to pick up uh, their other ones, though. This is Folklore and Superstition. Um, it has a few good songs on it. Blind Man, uh, Reverend Winkle, Soul Creek, Things My Father Said. That is a song that will make you depressed as hell. Um, the Ghost of Floyd Collins, the final song on this is probably one of the best songs they ever wrote. But, yeah, I mean, it's alright for modern rock sort of stuff. But, whatever. Moving on, we got some uh, Japanese technical death metal. Um, this is uh, Bleed Dead with uh, Mustima Dorshemi, I think is how you say it. I reviewed this, check it out. You can get it through Gorehouse, uh, Gorehouse Productions. Awesome, awesome stuff. I. It's a really short EP. It's just a shot of adrenaline, essentially, and uh, some awesome stuff. Definitely check that out. And then finally, we're down to Blind Guardian, Twist in the Myth. This is my favorite album from them. Uh, favorite songs from it, This Will Never End, uh, Scalds and Shadows. Uh, I actually prefer Dead Sound of Misery over Fly, where essentially Fly... They took that song and changed the lyrics around. I like Dead Sound of Misery better. And then we have the final one I'm going to show. This is Blind Guardian with At the Edge of Time. Didn't care for the new one before you guys ask it. The production on it's awful in my opinion, but 2 CD uh, edition. Uh, bought this a day it came out actually, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, that's it for part two of my CD collection. Stick around for part three. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And as always, keep it metal.